Greetings, everyone. I am doing this video for Renee, otherwise known as Miss R. Fabulous. Renee, I want to, to let you know that I really enjoy watching your video. I've been watching you for a few years now. Um, and two years ago, I sent you a message. And this message, you know, is going to be in the description for you to watch again so you know who I am. I'm not here to cause you to feel any worse than you already feel. And I'm not here to say, I told you so. I'm here to say to you, once again, you can pick up yourself and you can dust off. What you have just experienced um, recently in Jamaica, as we speak, is something that many other women experience but a lot of women do not learn certain things. And so their pain is repeated. It so happened, Renee, that sometimes when we think we're running away from our problems, we run towards it. Sometimes when we think that the issue is somewhere else, we carry it with us. And the reason why that is so, we often get into these relationships, whether with family or friends or, you know, you know men and women type of relationship intimacy is because what we are searching for in the other person must be found within us. When it comes to love, love is something that has to be defined within you. And until you start to really love yourself, Renee, no one else can fill that void for you. It is clear that you've had, you know, a lot of turmoil in your life, a lot of emotional pain in your life. You know, it's clear that you're struggling mentally. And so I can understand you wanting to shift the focus from that internal pain to find someone who you're hoping can help you get over whatever it is that you're struggling with. But you know what? The, the, the happiness that we seek must be within. The peace that we want must exist within. Even in the midst of chaos, if you don't have peace within you, then no one else can help you. And so the lessons you have learned in the past and what you're learning now is very painful. But until you get a hold of yourself, really come face to face with you and your God and ask for divine intervention so that you can then move on from these, you know, tumultuous relationships and these problems where all you do is add more fire to you, to, to your pain. What I want to say to you is you're going to have to learn how to pick your partners because it doesn't matter how much you want love. If you're looking for love in all the wrong places, the result is going to be the same. So, you know, in this case where you went to Jamaica and you met this person a year ago or whatever, and you start talking to him. And as you said, there were red flags that you ignored. Okay. You have to understand that. It's a dog eat dog world these days. And the roles are reversed now where men used to be the one to pursue women and want to take care of women. It's different now. There are men, and I'm going to use that word loosely, who will take disadvantage of women and they will be able to partner up with even people they're in relationship with to prey on somebody who's vulnerable. You went to Jamaica. It was very clear that you are vulnerable right now, seeking and searching to find yourself. And so individuals, these type of individuals who will latch onto people will then realize that you're vulnerable. They'll already know that you have emotional baggage. And so they will attach themselves to you. It is not so much about the person, but it's about the spirits that are attached to these individuals. And I told you before, when you have purpose, Expect that if you're not very careful, you'll be led down some long and hard path, as is the case with you right now. There are women in Jamaica who will get together with their men to prey on people who are vulnerable. And a lot of these men don't want to work. So when you're looking for a partner, you have to find somebody who's showing that they're ambitious. The person doesn't have to have a lot of money, but you have to see them doing something for themselves before they even met you. 
A man who sits around and expects a woman to take care of him, give him this, give him that, you know, talk like he's a child. And a lot of these men, and I use that word loosely in Jamaica, these boys in Jamaica, they don't know how to be men because they don't have very good role models. So these individuals that, you know, they prey on other people, not just these young boys, but older men too. They prey on vulnerable women. And so when you are in search of love and that love doesn't come from within you, you're going to find all these kinds of persons that are going to just prey on you. When you told the story about going to Nigril and about finding that metal in your food, I just had this very strange feeling that somebody was trying to put you up to getting some money. You just couldn't go through with it. So the fact that, you know, you said, I am going to just take another serving, that is an indication of what really was happening. You were walking down a very dangerous path with this individual who would have gotten you to do things that you could have ended up in jail. So I'm glad that you didn't listen to him. And I'm not going to say too much about that, but it was very, very clear that this person was a bad influence. Now, I think his relationship with you ended that day because you were not able to carry out the plan that he had. You know, getting that quick money and that free money. Avoid men or anybody for that matter who wants free money and quick money and they don't want to work for it. You're working for years. You're an influencer. You have to do these videos. You have to edit them. You have to post them. This is your job. And so you have to safeguard it. So the fact that you would have given someone access to you, your account and all these things in such a short time tells that you're very trusting. And because you're so trusting, you'll feel pain. Just be grateful that all he got was just a few thousand dollars that you can get back in a few months. You have to listen, Renee. Sometimes we think we know everything, but we don't. We can always rely on our parents, on other people that you trust, that over a period of time you see has your best intention. Do not use this to make you feel ashamed because what happened to you is a common phenomenon. There's a lot of women who are experiencing these kind of things where men are, you know, lying to them and uh, tricking them. It's a big thing in Jamaica for women to step aside and let, allow foreigners to come into their home and pretend, you know, for their boyfriends or husbands to have pretend relationship like they care for them just to make money. It's just that type of world. So don't think that, oh, I'm so dumb. How could not, couldn't I have known or all these things? But you learn. This is your experience now. You learn. I'm going to attach that video I sent to you two years ago, Renee, and anybody else who's listened to this video and listen to that video and that message that I sent to Renee two years ago. Listen, it was already clear that, you know, these things will continue to happen if you don't take that time to reflect. And I'm not saying get off social media. This is this is your job. But you know what? You're going to learn. And sometimes we have these experiences over and over and over because we're not learning the lesson. And so the spirit will bring back different people, different color, different shade, you know, different degrees of the same lesson until you learn. I'm not here to condemn you. I'm not here to try to make light of your pain that you're going through. I'm just going to encourage you once more. Because listen, these kind of things can tip people over the edge. And I don't want that to happen to you. Just consider it as another life path lesson that you will learn from and you'll grow. You shared your story with everybody. And there's a lot of person who can identify with your experience with this young man. Don't worry about him. He's going to find another victim. But in the long run, you know, these you these individuals who look at people, vulnerable people and prey on them often have what is coming to them. So I'd ask you to just find a way to peacefully get out of Jamaica, return home to your family that love you. It doesn't matter if you guys have your fighting here and there or your disagreement, return home. That's the best place. Because as far as I'm concerned, everyone is really using you at this moment. Everybody is exploiting you. Everybody is getting what they can for you. 
And so in order for you to just move yourself out of that situation and just focus on you, it's best to return home. It's just my humble opinion. But I'm sorry that you had to experience all that. I'm sorry that you have to make up stories and tell people that he was doing what he was not doing. That is what one of the things that women do a lot just to make people accept and love their partner. They lie and say they do more than they really are doing. Just learn from it and grow and bless up yourself, everyone.